Uh, what is up, YouTube? Lou Boyer coming to you from my home here in sunny Southern California. A lot of guys have been asking, how come I haven't made any videos lately? There's a good reason for that. I haven't found any snakes. All right, well, that's a bit of an overstatement. Um, we went out to Palm Springs, one of my favorite places, actually. Um, yeah, we had a few drinks out by the pool and uh, spent time in the pool swimming, enjoying the beautiful weather. We went out at night looking for snakes. Now, it was hot. And I mean even hot for Palm Springs standards. We cruised for like three hours and we found one snake. Um, a sidewinder. I love sidewinders. They're, you know, they're cool snakes, cool little rattlesnakes. But uh, three hours for one snake wasn't enough for, you know, the video. So we went from there out to the Lake of the Ozarks out in Kansas, or actually in Missouri. We flew into Kansas City and then drove down to... Um, mid-Missouri where the Lake of the Ozarks is. We found one water snake that I barely got to take any video of. And we found one ringneck snake. And that was it. And you know, we took the boat out and had fun on the lake and thoroughly enjoyed our time, but uh, no snakes out there. I went from there out to Chicago 100, 50, 30, 20, 10. Where I didn't find any snakes. I saw one or two, but uh, no video. Saw a deer, saw some butterflies, just cool things, you know, along the way. But uh, yeah, no snakes. I did happen to see this soft shell turtle, though. I've never seen one up close before. This one I took zoomed in quite a bit, and sadly it didn't stay at the surface for too long. But uh, yeah, still no snakes. So what I'm going to do for this video, I am going to share some, you know, you guys maybe saw my Costa Rica video. I put that out about two months ago or so. Actually, it looks like it was closer to four months ago now. And almost 20,000 views, so thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate that. The only snake found was the vine snake, the brown vine snake, which was super cool. And uh, yeah, it wasn't really a snake trip, but I tried to make it a snake trip. We did a few other things that I haven't shared. We chartered this boat here. Um, no, <laughs> actually not that boat. We chartered this boat, which was uh, just as cool. Well, all right, maybe not just as cool, but uh, cool in its own right. Uh, we took a little dinghy over to a little island where I videoed a few waves. was a heck of a lot of fun to be honest and then my son and his friend who my son's 18 almost 19 now and in Costa Rica I think the drinking age is 18 actually in Costa Rica I don't think they really care but uh, they started chugging beers they go like nobody, nobody's watching me nobody's watching. what oh man and then these girls from the boat the big boat you saw earlier They, they came across on jet skis, and uh, this is what happened. Five, come on. Two, two three. Oh! oh! Someone's going to fall in, I can guarantee it. Water! Jump! Get in! Oh! <laughs> anyway, I thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> we all thought that was kind of funny. Uh, maybe their parents weren't going to let them drink. I'm not sure. But uh, they got a free beer from us. Uh, uh, leaving Costa Rica, we stopped at a gas station that was unlike any gas station I've ever been to. And uh, check it out. Local gas station here. <laughs> Somebody at their house just pumps gas. Got a cool little roundabout here to get back out. I like it. Okay, what's that for? <laughs> All right. Thank you. Para, para cámara, <laughs> tiene que estar así. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> you look so pretty. I love your dress. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> super, right? Yeah, super. It's okay. good. Thank you. I bet you've never had a gas attendant as beautiful as she before. Putting <laughs> gas into your car with yeah. a Coke <laughs> two liter. <laughs> you own this one? What's that? Where are you from? Oh, um, California. California. Yes. Yeah. All right, and that was the end of our Costa Rica trip. We had to head home. Now, Grant, who you saw earlier in the video, and here's Grant here, 
you know, he's been with us on a lot of herping trips over the years. He lives around the corner. Anyway, he was there working with the McCall Recovery Center. He was there for six months, and he found a ton of snakes after I left, which isn't that the way it goes sometimes. Anyway, he shared his video with me, and I'm going to share it with you guys, um, just because he found some cool stuff that I wish I would have found. Now, a lot of it's shot horizontally, or not horizontally, vertically, I guess, um, which, you know, for Instagram works out well, which most of the kids share their stuff on Instagram. But uh, I, I've cropped it and done what I could to make it the best I could to show to you guys on YouTube. But, uh, yeah, the first snake he found was this, the liar snake. And he found probably, I think he said, five or six liar snakes, uh, the most common snake he's seen. Now, I've seen liar snakes before out in the deserts of Southern California. I think they're a slightly different subspecies. Uh, the ones he saw were larger, I believe, and slightly darker in color. The second snake that I'm going to share with you guys, or he's going to share, is uh, a green parrot snake. And it sort of resembles the vine snake that I found and showed you guys earlier in the video. And I'll let him describe that. You can see similar to the vine snakes, um, not only in their defense, but also their body structure. These guys are definitely some avid climbers and um, actually can move quicker, I think, through the trees than they can on the ground even. But yeah, similar defense posture to the vine snake with that open mouth. Um, I personally think the fleshy interior is more intimidating than the jet black, but um, probably to, well, I guess it's probably a, a, a threatening display either way, right? <laughs> Absolutely beautiful species though. And super colorful. There's just basically bright green on the head. And then similar to a bronze back has that just that like almost golden brown color down the back. And then some bright green and blue even coloration on the side. So yeah, the parrot snake is one of those snakes I really wanted to see when I was out there. And it just didn't happen. So I'll have to go back, I guess. Another snake I really wanted to see was this, the boa constrictor. And I know like they're common in the pet trade and all that. But seeing one in the wild... You know, it's just different. And, uh, you know, this one he saw, he saw two when he was there. This one obviously had a large meal in its stomach. And there's that big meal. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful animal. All right, so the next snake up is a snake that he actually saw while we were there at the same time, but we took two different roads to go to the same place. And, uh, yeah, he saw it and I didn't. Um, I didn't have really anywhere to share it until now. So uh, I don't know, Neotropical Rattlesnake, Central American Rattlesnake. I think it's got a couple different common names. But uh, yeah, really, really cool. It almost looks like three snakes in one with the kind of stripe towards the front third of the snake. And then the diamond pattern sort of in the middle, almost kind of boa-ish. And then kind of the more plain, darker looking tail. But uh, yeah, I really wanted to see one of those. So I have no idea what kind of possum this is, but I'm pretty sure it's a possum of some kind. There's a lot of different kinds of possums here. This one's really cute. And it's making a really cute noise. How cool is that? All right, so some sort of strange possum. I'm not sure what that was. I do know what these are, though. Um, on the left, we have the uh, speckled racer, and he found a couple of those. Uh, he's got two at one time here. And on the right is a green rat snake. The speckled racers will actually drift up into the U.S., into South Texas, and the green rats are found in southern Arizona. So I'm hoping to maybe see both those in the U.S. someday, if not in Costa Rica on a future trip. Um, up next, there's this frog. Now, I don't know what this is. I've included a couple sea turtles just to fill up the frame a little bit, but uh, some cool looking frog that apparently only turns yellow for a couple days. It's normally a kind of a muddy brownish greenish color, but uh, I don't know if it's a mating thing or what it is, but uh, one of the coolest frogs I've seen. And uh, this next snake, I'll let Grant tell you about. So this is a common cat-eyed snake and an absolutely beautiful one too. That dark banding is perfect camouflage for when it's in its natural environment. Of course, it's just crossing the road, moving from one place to the next. It's headed towards a water source here where there might be frogs. Absolutely beautiful snake species. 
So yeah, cat-eyed snake. I, I'm not sure exactly which cat-eyed snake it is, but uh, never seen one of those before. Hoping to see one someday. I'm going to finish this video with probably the best thing he found, which was a coral snake eating a Pacific long-tailed snake. I think that's what it is. I think he called it a crown snake because he wasn't sure at the time. But uh, yeah, check this out. So right here, we have a coral snake eating a little crown snake. Holy shit. That is the coolest thing I think I've ever seen. Coral snakes are, of course, snake eaters, so this is a natural diet for them. And check that out. Absolutely yeah. wrangling this little crown snake. He'll get bitten. Well, he won't bite me because he's focused on his meal. Uh, you can see it grabbed the crown snake by the tail. And uh, the crown snake's doing everything it can to escape, but the coral snake's got a good grip on it. This is probably the coolest thing I have ever seen in my life. And you can see the crown snake's trying to like wrap around the coral snake. You almost step on this? I just heard something rustling and I came over. I don't want to get too physical with him. Yeah. That is probably the coolest thing I have ever seen. It's in barefoot. Yeah. Yeah. Finish it. Finish it. Oh, this is so cool. Like, I'm going to take this, the rest of it to go. <laughs> so yeah, coral snake, one of my favorite species of snake to find. I've seen blue corals, I've seen striped corals, both in Singapore. I haven't found any of the corals in the U.S. or, you know, in the Central America area. Hoping to find maybe a coral snake out in Arizona this year, but we'll see. Uh, typically, I don't do a video like this. I don't share other people's videos, but uh, Grant being a good friend and living right around the corner, you know, he's way into snakes like I am. So, uh, you know... I had to share it. It was too cool not to share, and it was right where we were. That's going to probably do it for this video, guys. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to, and uh, we'll see you.